Harold, have you ever been confused for Jesse? <laughs> just tonight. <laughs> just tonight. Oh, just tonight. Just Maybe some sure. other people that look like me. But all right, all right. Um, listen, let's go back down to the spin room. Sean Hannity's there. Sean, you know, we were talking a lot before in the days leading up to this about the tone and tenor that the former president is going to take and what, what he's bringing to the table. You know him better than most. What, what do you think he's, he's coming with in 39 minutes? Uh, well, I can tell you, I know a lot of people that have been around him have been very, very clear that uh, he really has to be measured. Uh, if I were to talk about what I think we're going to expect tonight, tone, pitch, cadence, humor, intelligence, and a real focus on the future from him. Um, I, look, I, he knows that, that Joe's going to try and bait him, call him an insurrectionist. He's going to say democracy's in peril. Uh, January 6th, uh, convicted felon. All of that, you know, they, they've all anticipated that, all the people around him that I've spoken to. But I think all of that is going to lead to Donald Trump, you know, having a few lines of his own, and there are a lot of vulnerabilities that we expect. One thing, uh, Britt brought up the question, how odd is it that you have a president of the United States leaves his day job for over a full week to prepare for what is really a 90-minute debate about the very issues that he should be dialed into every day. That seems beyond excessive. Now, we, I, I brought up the issue right after the State of the Union. I felt that Joe, he wouldn't even allow the Speaker of the House time to introduce him as, as is custom. And he just went out there and he was screaming and hyped up and, and hyper caffeinated, I call him, or jacked up Joe. The question I think a lot of people have is, you know, which Joe Biden is going to show up tonight? Because we had not never seen that Joe Biden before the State of the Union. And we really haven't seen him since the, that way since the State of the Union. Now, if he shows up and he's that aggressive and if he shows up and he's that more cognitively aware, I think that might also bring a lot of questions about his his mental cognitive uh, condition. And I think it's a real issue in the campaign on top of the issues that I mentioned earlier, immigration, the economy, inflation, uh, law and order, or, you know, what's happening in the world. There are so many things that are that are very impactful. These are consequential times. This is a consequential election. I would argue it's an inflection point. And if it's not either of those two, I'm, I'm thinking Jesse Waters is going to have to step in. Uh, if, <laughs> if asked, I will serve. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.